Hey everyone, this is Osamu Akabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I want to show you how to use this formless action endpoints. Now, so this is a part of JetForm Builder and you can get add-on. This lets you run form actions like deleting posts, updating users, uh, publishing, in this case, like reject, approve, and even sending an email without showing a form on your website. Uh, let me give you some example here. Now I have this I guess the post website and then uh, so this is admin. Now let me just show you here. Let me bring this um, two screens. On the left side is author. So people who can write a guest post and publish it. And before publishing that uh, on the right hand side. So this is admin kind of dashboard, they can uh, even like edit post or draft it and delete, reject and approve. Okay, so there's a button here. So let me just uh, give you an example. So I'm using right here, logged in as Arthur. So I want to uh, add a new post here. And then let's just uh, put uh, some content here. All right, so just put title and content and put upload image. And then let's pick category. So uh, communications IT. Okay. And then hit submit. All right. All right. So on the left side is um, author. And then go to my post. Now, as you see, uh, waiting for approval. So it's in this uh, section here. So waiting for approval. Now let's refresh this admin page here. So now I got uh, waiting approval here, three of those. So I need to approve that. Now there's a reject and approve. So let's hit approve here. Okay. And now, so let's refresh this page. Okay. Now approve is uh, just two now. Okay. All right. So let's look at the email. So it's also send the email to uh, when submitted down um, post and then now so this goes to Arthur just under review and here you see like when I approve it so um, this so this is going to Arthur from admin and saying that your post is now uh, published okay so now let's uh, let's just go to uh, this should it be here let's refresh this page yeah, so his post is right here, it's published. Okay, now let's just uh, go back to dashboard again. Now, so I got as admin, so two things to just review and approve or reject. So let's uh, hit the reject this article. All right, and then let's check the email. All right, so now so I got uh, email template goes out to Arthur saying that uh, so this particular article has been rejected. Okay. And then let's probably go to um, dashboard here just to make sure. Uh, okay, so the guest post is right here. So let's just take a look. All right, so reject one things go to the trash. Yeah, so this article went to trash. Okay, after re after rejection. So this is something you can uh, accomplish using this, the formless action and the points. All right. So this add on, uh, you have to have just form builder pro version. It's paid version. And then you log into your account and you will see formless action and point here. So you're going to download that and upload onto your WordPress and the go to plugin. And then I've already uploaded and it's right here. And once you upload it, and you will see, uh, just go to JetForm Builder, you see this endpoint uh, on the menu here. All right. All right. So let me show you how to uh, uh, have this draft button here. Okay. Yeah. Using uh, formless action endpoints. So let's go to uh, JetForm Builder. And I have already created um, uh, this one. So draft post form and this point. Okay. So if you haven't do, done it, uh, you got to add a new and create a new one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to just use uh, draft one already I created. So let's go to hit edit. All right. So as you can see, there's 
almost nothing there. Uh, this is just a hidden field. Okay. And then uh, field value is selected the current post ID. Okay. And you see this action button here, uh, but this doesn't really mean anything. Uh, okay. But uh, just has to be there. Okay. But uh, so let's take a look at uh, this hidden field. Okay. Now, so this default value, so this is important. So just click here and then the source is going to be post. All right, because I'm using custom post and then so get post ID from current post and the post property is post ID and the restrict access is on. OK, so because this is only for uh, Arthur and the admin user, only logged in user. OK, just hit update. And make sure that uh, this uh, field value is selected to current post ID. All right. And just go to hit save. And now, so let's go to this uh, jet form. And so I got the three action here. So save form records and insert update post and the redirect the post. All right. So you just click here, add a new action. So for example, if you want to add insert and update post, it should be, it's right here. Okay, so you gotta just add that. So in my case, I already added it. So now let's take a look at the save form record. Is uh, again, so I didn't do anything, so nothing is turned on. All right. And then insert update post. Okay, so I'm using uh, CPT, so using guest post uh, for this uh, demo tutorial. Okay, now, so you can pick post status because this is uh, draft post. So you pick draft. Okay. So that's a status. And then so field map post ID is a post ID will update a post. Okay. So because it's going to be updated, updating a, a post status here. All right. And then so hit update. And then uh, the reason I put uh, just redirect is uh, after um, they hit the button for the draft, save draft. Is going to be just uh, stay in a current page. So that's why I put putting this direct to uh, uh, action, uh, post submit action, and then just picking that just stay in a current page. All right. So I think that's it. that's it. And hit update and then save. All right. So let's move on to next. So next one is, and then now let's go to endpoints here. And if you have a new rule, uh, sorry, new root, uh, click this, but I already added. So I have this draft post endpoint. Okay. I'm going to just hit edit endpoint here. All right. So now uh, we got to pick the related form, which is we just uh, uh, created the, the draft post, fo uh, post form endpoint. Okay. So it's pick that and then action type is going to be uh, WordPress Ajax. Okay. And the Ajax the, um, uh, action slug is draft post. So you know, just to give a name. Okay. And then this is uh, restricted because I don't want to give anyone uh, to um, hit this button to um, make action. So it's only admin user and the author. All right. And then uh, so last one here is a log request. So uh, I just keep keep it um, the uh, log request here. Uh, any every single action is gonna be recorded uh, on the bottom here. Okay, if you uh, enable this option. And the next one is uh, this data field. And uh, so let's switch to this sample re uh, sample request. All right. Now you see the button here. Uh, copy data for the request. And you will need this later. So I'm just gonna hit this. And it looks like it's copied data for request. Okay. Now, so let's move on to jet engine listing and components. So we're going to move on to listings here. And then, so right here, so guest post item. Uh, this is a template. So I use Elementor. All right. So this is a listing for the admin dashboard. Okay. So I got five buttons here. Now, so let's look at the draft button. So this is just the regular button, okay? And the button type is default and text, of course, uh, draft. 
and the link, uh, you can just leave it the hashtag here. Now, since we installed add-on for formless end endpoint action, so you will see this uh, submit jet form builder form. Okay, so you just, just uh, click drop down here and then enable form submission. So pick yes and then choose root. So we create just create a root for the draft post, right? So you pick this one. Now data for the request. Now uh, I copied earlier, so let's just go back here. All right, things that uh, end point and then uh, this draft post one. So let's just uh, hit action again. All right, so I uh, go to sample request data for the, the request. So, so copy. Okay, now it's copied and then go to um, uh, Elementor here and you're going to just paste that here, right here. Okay. And they hit update. All right. So let's check out the result. So I logged in as one of the guest author. And then, uh, so there are three posts published. So I'm going to just pick this for best practice for online fundraising. So um, um, they want to just, uh, let's say they want to put this in the draft. So hit that. Okay. And then, so it looks like uh, it's in the, in the draft here, right? Now, so let's go to uh, backend. So this is, uh, so they are all the guest posts. Now you see um, for best practice. So now it is published, but let's uh, refresh this page. So now you see draft, okay? So it's in the draft box here, okay? So it's working. So as you see the admin uh, front end, dashboard so we got the also delete and also reject and approve so reject actually goes to trash and approve um it just uh, publish it okay so uh, uh let me just show you it's 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 the same concept and what you have to change is so let's go to form builder and go to forms so i'll show you uh reject form endpoints okay so let's go to edit now it's basically the same. So we have we have a hidden field, and the field value is um, current post ID. Now I put the um, uh, author's email uh, under hidden field because I like to once uh, because it, because of the email sending the email. Okay, because um, unlike draft once admin rejected, uh, there's a notification goes out to author post author. Okay. And then I added the post title because of the email template. Maybe I can show that to you later. And then the submit button again, it's, it's nothing here uh, as you, you know, same as last time, but you have to have it. Okay. And then I'll show you that here, you know, they save form and insert update redirect. I think the redirect the current page, it's the same thing. And then, um, for this reject and also approve too. Uh, I got the send email action. Okay, so here it goes to uh, Arthur's email here. Email notification goes out to Arthur. Okay, and then title um, and so forth. And I have this post title uh, under email template content. So that's why I have this uh, hidden field here. Okay. Now, one just a big difference is go to insert and update. Okay. Um, yes, so this post status because after rejecting goes to move to trash. So you have to pick trash. Okay. And then for the approval button is a published post. Okay. So here I quickly show it to you. So it's basically the same. We got the hidden field, the post ID and the author email, because for me, uh, I like to send out to notification to guess the post author. Okay, and then this is again, I put the post URL uh, because of uh, email template. I can show it to you quickly. And then um, uh, submit the button once again. Uh, there's nothing here, but you have to have it. Okay, let's go to post. And then this is a published post, uh, which is when admin approved post. Go to uh, insert and update here. And then, so the post status is published okay and I hit update yeah let me just uh how this work uh so i have again this is just a guest post author and i have waiting for approval 
content. So this is digital fundraising platform. All right. Now, so let's go to uh, back to admin. All right. So there is a waiting for approval. Uh, this is digital fundraising platform. All right. So let's, um, I approve that. So this is Atomy uh, dashboard. Okay. So I'm just going to hit up approved. All right. So now under published, right? Once. Yeah, it's right here. Now let's go to guest post author. So I'm going to, it was, let's just, it was waiting for approval, but let's refresh this. Now it's under published. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to just show you that email. Uh, templates so that notification goes out to guest author so let's uh, check the email yeah so it looks like uh, it came here all right so your post is now published have a look so that's why i got the, those hidden field has a url and if uh, i'm just going to open up with uh, chrome yeah so this is the uh, digital foundry platform all right. All right. So this is the uh, quick tutorial about uh, formless actions and points. I use uh, just the guest uh, post uh, for the action like delete, draft, approved and reject. Uh, so that kind of stuff. But you can use that for like event management system, any other types of uh, the CPT you can you can create. So uh, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time.